All right, well, what do we got? Oh, look at it, baby. Come on in. Come to Papa. There you go. Oh, got man. One. I don't know. She hey, I got one, too. Got a double? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I don't All need right. the net on this you don't one. Need sure. no, I don't think I need oh, a net. That's a nice size. One. Yeah. 14 yeah. incher probably. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's Walt and Bob. We're in the Wisconsin River catching some walleyes. All right. With Justin Cohn of All Seasons Guide Service, should be a good day. Got a couple short ones, I think, to start yeah, the day. Not, yeah. Not quite legal, yeah, but good start. Good start. All good. right. Feels a little better. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's nice right. Yeah, let him come back around. Right out of that. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That one was hiding in the brush pile. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I actually waited, just let him eat it a little bit, and he took the whole jig. Perfect. Those 14 to 16 inch males all feel the same. Yep. 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 That is nice, though, with that uh, brush jig to be able to work it right through those twigs and, and just feel it come over the limb and then thunk, the fish really thumps it good. We call that the dragon jig. Okay. The dragon through the mud. <laughs> exactly right. did what you said. I felt a little bump, little tiniest bump, and then I decided I'm just gonna stop it and wait. So I stopped it and waited and doink. About 10 seconds into the tagged wait. One. Oh, it's tagged one. Boy, Walt, that one yeah. was uh, caught by the skin of the chin on yeah. your yeah. dragon jig, dragging it through the uh, brush. <laughs> dragging it through his chin. Yeah. Just slowly, I mean, barely moving that I don't, dragon jig on there, Walt. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you lift them right out of there. There you go, Walt. There right at the go. top where you're supposed to set right, the hook. Right in the mouth. Yep. yep. Let me show you a couple quick hooking options here on the dragon jig. So, like here, we've got a minnow. You know, you got your standard. Your standard method, you know, you just hook them in here and, you know, it's going give to a, give a lot of wiggle, a lot of action, work through the brush. The brush guard's going to keep the brush off, but sometimes you've really got some thick brush and like in our case here, or you have these smaller fish. So what I like to do is squeeze them a little there in the head, mouth opens up, pops out of the gill. You get past this, this little keeper here and it's going to hold the head tight in there and then you just come across over here. Now you've got yourself a kind of almost a, you know, a jig that they're not going to be able to pull off. It's almost like, uh, you know, you got a stinger hook on here or something, but obviously you're not going to want to run a stinger hook in a snaggy area. So a dragon jig rigged like this, this is going to catch a walleye where your standard ball head, you run that through the brush. All you're going to catch is the brush. Piked me, I believe, or it's a very fast walleye. Uh, it's acting like a walleye. Is it? Yeah, that's a walleye. Oh, it is a walleye. There we go. Good. Nice. Uh, that's all right of me. Switch to a different color. Yeah. A blue one. I think it's closer now. Yeah, I'll measure them. Yeah. Almost 16 inches. Yeah, there we go. Yep, 15 inches here to keep. Yeah, new regulations, which started uh, April of 24. You got three walleyes per person between 15 to 20 inches, and then one over 28. But the one over 28 would count as your three. So it does not apply to Green Bay area or the Mississippi River. That's a nice one. That's what we're looking for right there. This one's for your fish fry. Perch and walleye is what's for dinner tonight, huh, guys? Yeah. So the water's warming up. It's already gone up three degrees since we started today. And uh, these bigger fish are actually starting to chew a little bit better as predicted. Look at that. We got a good start. Yep, there we go. There we go. It might be an eater. Oh, I think it's a eater too. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty close. Eater. Sometimes when you're fishing close to the boat, you can swing them in faster than you can get the net. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 16 incher. That's there nice you one. go. Yep. While Bob's busy eating his sandwich, let's talk a little bit about the jigs that we've been using out here today. It's really a pretty simple selection. Basically, we've got our dragon jigs right here. Like I said before, what's nice about them is they've got that brush guard that's gonna keep you out of the brush. So if you're fishing really brushy areas, rivers, flowages, even weedy areas, gravelly areas, it's rocky areas, it's gonna keep you from getting stuck. Next is we've got these hair jigs here, and really the secret in the cold water with the hair jigs is you've really got to work them with some, with some fast, fast movements. But if you just want a little extra color, you've got the hair, you could add a stinger, you can add a minnow, you can run a little slower presentation, and you got a little bit more bulk, got a little bit more color. Real good in the fall in the cold water. And then we've got our standard H2O jigs, and really they come in a variety of colors. What's great about them is they're stamped right on the back They've got the weight, 
so you know this one's a quarter ounce. So if you're a guide or if you're fishing with a bunch of people like kids, everybody can put on a quarter ounce jig. So then we know how to operate the boat so no one gets snagged. So there's some quick tips for you. There's some jigs for you to use. If you need more information, go to BeFishingTackle.com. A swinger? I, I was feeling like a perch, Justin, but it's not. Another nice little eye. I'm there the we go. I'm the orangey. Yep, switched over to the orange. So there you go, color makes That's a difference. That's how you catch them, Walt, right in the mouth. No tag on this one. There we go. Got one, Walt. Got him, he's coming around. All right. There we go. Let's check it out. I heard the drag hey. slipping, maybe it's a keeper. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hey, that's a nice one, Walt. Hey, all right. All right, we got enough for our fish fry. We're gonna go chase after some big females. And Midwest Outdoors will be right back with some more action. Thank you, Justin. It was a good morning. Yep.